It was quite the journey for the New York Jets to acquire quarterback Aaron Rodgers with radio show appearances, rumors, and more that dominated the offseason before a deal between the Packers and Gang Green days before the NFL draft was finally struck. New York Post Jets beat writer Brian Costello. He's been covering it all offseason and detailed the journey in a recent article as he joins us now. Brian, how's it going? Are you exhausted from Aaron <laughs> Rodgers' coverage? Oh, it's, it's interesting, Dexter. It's, you know, as long as the Jets are interesting, I'm happy. And this is Aaron Rodgers, the pursuit, the trade, everything after it has made uh, the life on the Jets beat interesting. Interesting is better than the opposite, which would be not interesting. Yep. So, yeah, that is definitely good. All right, Brian, Joe Douglas heard from Rodgers' agent about Rodgers' interest in coming to New York on March 12th. Rodgers shared that with the world three days later on the Pat McAfee show. Did the Jets know for sure that Rodgers would say he wanted to come to New York on the show, and was there any tension or anxiety about that show appearance? Yeah, there was anxiety, Dexter, because, like you said, David Dunn, the agent for Aaron Rodgers, called Joe Douglas late on the night of Sunday, March 12th, after af after 1230 at night, and uh, Douglas was sleeping on his couch with his phone in his hand. He got the call, and he didn't want to wake up his family. He was celebrating by himself. Uh, he was texting Robert Sala, who was sleeping, he, he, you know, there was no one to celebrate with. And then the next morning when he talked to Salah, Salah said, well, we haven't heard it from Aaron yet. You know, so they, they kind of had to wait. They weren't allowed to talk to Aaron Rodgers at that point. So they all gathered in Joe Douglas's office on that Wednesday, like the rest of us at one o'clock, uh, clicking on the link to watch Pat McAfee. And moments before he came on, Dexter, the power went out at one Jets drive. And they were all sitting there looking at each other. But it came back on. And then they heard the words, you know, that, that Aaron Rodgers intended to be a Jet. And they all kind of celebrated, and then and then the hard work began because it was it would be six weeks later until he was actually traded to the Jets. Right, and there we go. It was a timeline of six weeks between that announcement, right, on the Pat McAfee show and the actual trade going down. So six weeks between those two events. Was there ever a realistic chance that the deal to bring Rodgers to New York would not happen? Not really then, uh, Dexter. Once, once Rodgers said he wanted to be a Jet, the feeling all along was it would get done. The Packers wanted a 2024 first round pick, uh, no conditions attached. And that was kind of the sticking point for the Jets. Once the Packers came off of that demand, they worked out the conditional pick and the Jets sort of came off of their what they, you know, what they were asking for conditionally made it 65% of the offensive snaps, which should be easily attainable for, you know, unless things go really wrong, Rogers is going to play that. So once that happened and then they agreed on some pick swaps and, and those kinds of things, the deal came together. But I, I never got the sense that anyone was really worried this was actually going to fall apart. All right. So no stress for the Jets there. Now, lately, it seems like we've seen Rodgers everywhere at Knicks games, Rangers games, et cetera. He's been in the building at the Jets facility. What kind of impact has he had on and off the field for Gang Green thus far? Yeah, they've been blown away by him so far. He's been very, very vocal in the meetings, uh, helping guys out. Um, you know, he's connected. I've heard he's connected with everyone in the building, basically, you know, from teammates to coaches to staff members in the building. He's been very active trying to get acclimated. And remember, Dexter, this was a question for all along when we talked about Aaron Rodgers was, would he be all in? Would he be there in the spring? Uh, you know, he hadn't been with the Packers well, would he be if he had to look, you know, get to know his new teammates? And he has been so far. I don't think he's going to be there the entire spring. He's got some other commitments, I understand, that he's going to have to tend to. But he's been there a lot already. And, you know, in terms of the off the field stuff, taking guys to the Knicks games and going to the Rangers games, he's been bonding with them. I'm sure, there's other stuff we're not seeing publicly. Uh, it seems like he's really embraced this role, though, with the new team and, and trying to mentor guys and get to know guys already. All right. Aaron Rodgers making an impact already. The Jets fans, they want to see the impact on the field in 2023 as we're inching closer and closer to that season. You know who's going to be on top of it with more Aaron Rodgers coverage? That's going to be Brian Costello. He's not going anywhere. Brian, always good to talk some Jets football with you. And Aaron Rodgers, we will talk soon. All right, Dexter.